Hello, it's about popping this D while you're this video. This is what's something about yourself that sounds like a complete lie, but is 100% true. Child, I got a few of these. I got quite a few. <laughs> I've dropped some, you know, details here and there about some shit that's happened, but it's some other shit that I ain't never told y'all. I don't know if I ever will. I don't know. Anyway, let's get into these people's business and not mine. Let's watch. What's something about yourself that sounds like a complete lie, but is 100% true? Mine sounds like a total lie because it coincidentally aligns with something in very popular fiction. My maiden name is Snape. I'm a dark-haired nerd with a beaky nose who likes to wear capes. Oh, hey, my married Potter. name is Potter. My husband was the popular athletic type. I have a son. He has a scar on his forehead. He received the scar on October 31st when he was only a year old. Mm. I have three Potter children. Two boys. Harry Potter, didn't he girl, have him when he was born, though? Not Get James, the story Elvis, right. I do, however, have a Jimmy. What's something about yourself that sounds like a complete lie, but is 100% true? Oh, no, he was in the crib, when right? I was 12 years old. I um, read that in started minute. dating this chunky, you know, just long-haired skater kid that was like an inch shorter than me. Um, Ten years goes by, and we stayed together. We had our daughter in 2015. And then we had my son in 2017, but here's the catch. Stay with me. When I was seven months pregnant for my son, their father, over the course of about six weeks, uh, went into a state of psychosis and lost all recollection of who we were. And so here we are three years later, and it's just been me and my two kids for three years now. Damn. Like, when he was in the hospital, I went to go visit him for his hour visitation back in 2017, and he asked me what my name was and where I lived. What's something about yourself Damn, that sounds like a complete cool. lie, but is 100% true? I once was trying to be a like a fashion YouTuber a long time ago, and then my parents got blackmail letters about me to their like home mailbox oh. that were written like they were typed on a typewriter like an old school typewriter and like words were misspelled and there was like secret messages in it and it knew so much about me and my family like where my dad went to college it was super weird and they threatened me in my life and at the bottom of the letters which i received eight from it was always signed deeply concerned like that was their sign off was deeply concerned and then we hired a private investigator. They traced back what type of typewriter was used, and it turned out it was my aunt. What's something about yeah, yourself? I was that thinking that too. It's somebody you know, but it's one hundred percent true. true. Really so when funny. I was younger, my sister died, and I always told myself that if I ever had a little girl, I would name my little girl after my sister to carry my sister's name on. And so whenever I got pregnant with my daughter, I did name her, give her the same little name as my sister. And then my daughter died. Oh, damn. So there's that. What's something about yourself oh, that sounds like a complete lie, but is 100% true? I am the only person in the world, the world, as far as I know, to have walked the length of Britain solo with no money. It was back in 2012, and I started in John O'Groats, the most northern point of Scotland, came down, climbed Ben Nevis, the tallest mountain in Britain, because why not, all the way down to Land's End, the most southwesterly point of England. It was 900 miles, it took me 43 days, wow. and I did it without spending a single penny. So I only ate if people gave me food, I only slept indoors if people offered me a place to sleep. I ended up losing two stone, but I managed to do it. Here's a picture of me on Loch Oich in Scotland after about a week of walking. And here's me five weeks later on a beach in Hale in Cornwall. And this is me crossing the finishing line at Land's End. I have got plenty of stories from this experience. So if you want to hear them, just let me know. What's something about yourself that sounds like a okay. complete yes. lie, but is 100% true? Not entirely sure if I should say this or not. But basically, I was not your one of the male teenager. When chat rooms were first a thing, we were taught to be safe and not be yourself and never give out any personal information. Don't tell them your real name, your age, or where you're from. So I kind of took that and ran with it. Long story short, I got into some trouble. And because of that trouble, at the age of 15, I had a record with the FBI was completely banned from the internet until I was 18. A few months after my 18th birthday, I made a Facebook page. 
Within a couple of days, my mom got a phone call to ask if she was aware that I was on the internet again. It's totally legal, but they're totally watching me. So that's the thing. What's something about okay. yourself that sounds like a complete she lie, crazy, but is 100% so true? Yeah, so this is actually my first TikTok, but I think I have a pretty good answer for this, considering I didn't actually believe it myself at first. Um, so I am a professional bubbler, which means that people pay me to go to music festivals, community events, private events, and all sorts of fun stuff, and blow bubbles all day. Um, mm. I quite literally chased after a bubble and found myself a job, and it's the best thing that's ever happened to me, and the coolest thing that's ever happened to me, and I wouldn't want it any other way. The company is called Joyful Bubbles, and I would love to tell you guys more about it if you guys are interested in that kind of thing. What's something about yourself that sounds like a complete lie, but is 100% true? Spill some tea, y'all. I was born, I had a truck. Mm. Yes. Before. You can have a truck before you were born. Oh. Number two, I can't grow up. own nightclubs so the first half of my life was like spent in that environment my mom was the bartender my dad was the dj all that jizz and then when i turned seven my dad pulled over on the side of the road and baptized himself with a bottle of water okay, and closed awesome. everything down the next day and became it. a pentecostal pastor um, yeah it's a pretty interesting childhood pretty interest what's something about yourself mm. that sounds like a complete lie but is a hundred percent true i know i look crusty but trust me hold on so one day I went on this date with this guy I met at the club. Trust me, I know, uh, not a great decision. This was before I gave Jesus my life. But anyway, <laughs> I go on this date with this guy and it's like not even a real date. We're just hanging out in his car. And then he's like, hey, maybe we should like go for a walk, find something like fun to do. So I'm like, yeah, like I I'm not trying to be uh, all hoish in his car. Don't judge me, like I said, it was before Jesus. Anyway, we <laughs> walk to this park down the street from his house, and there's like this little trail that goes off into the woods. And he's oh, like, yeah, man. maybe we should like go walk in there. And I'm like kind of fat and tired, so I'm like, yeah, let's just like sit Not here though for a little bit. And in the park, there's this little boy and his mom like playing over on the other side of the park. And the little boy comes over to me, and he's like talking to me, telling me about his whole life. And I'm like, oh, that's so sweet. Then out of nowhere, the little boy says, my mommy says, I shouldn't go for walks with new people in the woods because they might kill you. I'm on my own episode of SVU. What's something about yourself that sounds like a complete yeah, lie but is 100% true? What's something about yourself that sounds like a complete lie but is 100% true? I'm going to give one more As person a chance. Mexican, born in Mexico, with Mexican parents, and spent most of my life living in Mexico, mm -hmm. my Spanish sucks. This isn't a cutesy, like, oh no, I speak better English than I do my Spanish because all the time I spend social media. No, I have the documents to prove it. Boom, I switched locations. Anyway, this is my certificate of proficiency in English that I got when I turned 18 and I was about to ha graduate high school. I got it on my first try with 220 points, which means I got an A. And in case you're wondering, CBE is equivalent to a C2, which means I speak better English than the people who speak English. However, also in high school, I had the opportunity to get a scholarship just for my academic talent. You know, but one of the requirements was that I needed to get at least 1,400 points in the Mexican version of BSATs. And I didn't get it because of my Spanish. I know I didn't do that bad, but it still haunts me to the same. What's something? All right, I'm gonna head out. These people ain't spilling the tea that I, that I need them to spill. I want to hear some wild, crazy, over the top shit. Like, damn, that happened to you? Like. That's wild, but it was just like, oh, okay. Oh, that's crazy. Oh, damn. Oh, that's sad. Oh, that's fucked up. Uh, you know, it was shit like that. So, not what I was expecting. Uh, but, but sure, I'm, I'm glad they actually didn't go too over the top because then I wouldn't have believed it, actually. 
<laughs> if it was something too stupid, I would have been like, nah, they lying. Niggas stay lying on TikTok. So, it's like, hey, which do you want? Do you want realistic shit or do you want over-the-top lies? I don't know. Anyway, y'all let me know what y'all thought. Let me know what other videos you're going to watch and I'll see y'all in the next one. Bye!